Okay, yeah, here we go. So press read again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. PO 171. Oh, okay, I don't recognize that number. P03300, okay. P0302, okay, I think that's the flow, low flow error. Let's mill on. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Monitors? Eight ready? What's eight ready mean? Mm -hmm. You can erase your code though, so it'll wipe the, the computer clean, your car clean, mm -hmm. and then until it does the oh. like state, it'll... There you go. It tells you what it is. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, it said, uh, Miss, Miss, uh, and... God. Oh wait, I videotaped it. Let's replay the video. So, this ignition coil was replaced already one time because this cord here this uh, wire this wire is this is the old wire from the old ignition coil so I am going to since I have another ride this is not my main ride right now, so I'm taking my time and doing a lot of extra um, unnecessary stuff. But hopefully this <coughs> ride will be a lot better off after all of this. But I'm going to unwrap all this. And you will see... This is the wires over here for the coils, the coil wire. And it was once in here, but I'm gonna put it back through that, that um, cable or the wire harness is right here. And then this is important, I wanna know how far so from here to here is this pad. This pad goes through the firewall. The firewall and then this wire goes all the way down to here. And then I told you that I found out this is just part of the old uh, ignition coil wire harness. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo all this, you know, to here I don't know where that goes it goes up and a bunch of wires over there but anyways from some point this goes to the It uh, kind of splits off over to here to this connection here. Got plenty of lighting, courtesy of the sunset. Plenty of lighting and my um, do yourself reflection. The plastic is just reflecting the light into the engine compartment. So I could see what's going on in here. Probably gonna stop doing this as maybe half more hour. And that's anyways this is as far as I got so far. Taking off all the tape. All of this fabric tape has to come off. But yeah, there's proof that this was already replaced once. It's not even connected, so I get that all one piece again.
Well, this is what it looks like when someone else does your work. This wire here. See, that's the old ignition wire right here. The old ignition wire. You know, it may be time consuming, but I'm going to try to make it right. So this is another, this is the old, this is the old ignition wire. This is the old, old ignition wire. So it all feeds into this connection. This connection goes to the power somewhere. Anyways, this, I'm wearing, I'm wearing gloves. Cause this is sticky and yucky. Kind of gross, but that's what it is. So I'm almost to the um, the beginning of this wire here. Here's the old wire, the old um, coil, coil harness. There's the new coil harness. You gotta feed it down through here. It goes under here, all this. Well, almost done taking it out, unraveling it some points to uh, pay attention to is where this wire this is part of the ignition coil so I want to pay attention to about where that is so I'm gonna have to mark that somehow and then you follow it down then it splits part of the ignition coil you see, like right here, 